All right, we're probably going to start. Well, hi everyone, and uh, welcome to another Facebook and Instagram live weekly session. Again, when I'm looking uh, up, I'm talking with my Instagram uh, participants. When I'm looking a little bit down, I'm talking to uh, the Facebook uh, participants. So apologies if I'm looking up and down. So this is another uh, Facebook and Instagram live weekly session. And this is session number 20. And tonight I'll be talking about uh, energy drink, energy drinks and their risks as part of my workplace health and safety uh, video series. So, and to know more about the day-to-day -day of an engineer and how to validate your engineering qualification in Australia, subscribe to my website, www.engineersinaustralia.com. But first, for those that don't know me, my name is Jerson Ida. I'm the founder of www.engineersinaustralia.com a website to share content of value and relevant information for your journey towards engineering qualification validation in Australia. And also information and experiences of a day-to-day -day of an engineer. And subscribe to my website to get news and updates. And the link is in the comments, both in Instagram and at, as well as in the Facebook comments. And if you have any questions about the validation process or any other uh, workplace health and safety issue, uh, please write down in the comments. Uh, I put my email address in the comments as well, admin at uh, engineersinaustralia.com. So, and if you, if you stay until the end, uh, I'll give you a free ebook that I wrote about the 10 challenges that most overseas engineers they face when they arrive in Australia. So stay tuned until the end, and I'll put the link uh, so you can claim your free PDF copy uh, at the end of this um, uh, live session. So let's get started. So what are energy drinks? Energy drinks are beverages that contain varying amounts of caffeine, taurine, guarana, amino acids, vitamins, and sugar. Energy drinks are promoted as being beneficial in increasing stamina and improving physical performance, endurance, and concentration. In the past 10 years, there has been a significant increase in the consumption of energy drinks. There has also been considerable debate about the contents of energy drinks and uh, whether consumption is safe. Energy drinks typically contain a mixture of caffeine, What's caffeine? It's a stimulant that acts on the central nervous system to speed up the messages to and from the brain. And caffeine is the main active ingredient in energy drinks. Guarana, an extract from a plant that contains about twice the amount of caffeine as coffee beans. Yes, you heard well, twice the amount of caffeine as coffee beans. Theobromine, from the cacao plant. It has a similar effect to caffeine and it is found in chocolate and many other foods. Theophylline, a drug used for the treatment of respiratory diseases and asthma. Marketed under a variety of brand names, it is structurally similar to caffeine. And it is also naturally found in tea at very small levels. Taurine, occurs naturally in food especially in seafood and meat, and is necessary for normal skeletal muscle functioning. Ginseng, a substance that comes from a variety of plants and is believed to have medicinal properties, but has been found to interact with a number of pres prescription and herbal drugs. And did you know that coffee and energy drinks cause increased urine output and can make working the heat more dangerous by causing you to de dehydrate more quickly. And studies have shown that health, is, health risks associated with energy drinks are mostly attributed to their high sugar and caffeine levels. 
And uh, so there's a lot of sugar and caffeine in those drinks. They range from risk-seeking behavior, such as substance misuse and aggression, mental health problems in the form of anxiety and stress, to increase blood pressure, obesity, kidney damage, fatigue, stomach aches, and irritation. And the following are some of the short-term effects of consumption of energy drinks. Feeling more alert and active, need to urinate more frequently, rising body temperature, increased heart, heart rate, stimulation of the brain and nervous system, and some of the possible adverse effects. Insomnia, nervousness, headaches, nausea, vomiting, rapid heart rate. And who should avoid energy drinks? Well, children and young people. There is no reported evidence that energy drinks are of any nutritional value. Research has found that children and young people who consume energy drinks may suffer sleep problems, bed wetting, and anxiety. Also, pregnant and breastfeeding women should avoid energy drinks. Women who are pregnant or breastfeeding are advised to avoid energy drinks, as high amount of caffeine can increase the risk of miscarriage, difficult birth, and delivery of low-weight babies. Caffeine crosses the placenta and into the bloodstream, so breastfeeding mothers are also advised to avoid energy drinks. Sportsmen and women. People who play sports are advised to avoid caffeinated drinks, energy drink, as caffeine can cause dehydration. The combination of dehydration and exercise can certainly be dangerous. Caffeine sensitive people, some people are more sensitive to caffeine than others. If you are susceptible to the effects of caffeine, just a small amounts, even one energy drink may prompt unwanted effects, such as restlessness and sleep problems. And combining energy drinks with alcohol. I'm just waving to some participants in Instagram. Welcome, and welcome guys. Combining energy drinks with alcohol. Health professionals have expressed concern about the consumption of energy drinks containing alcohol and the combining of energy drinks with shots of alcohol. Drink, drinking energy drinks with alcohol places the body under great stress and can mask some of the effects of the alcohol. For example, if a person combines energy drinks with alcohol, they will still be affected by the alcohol, but may not feel as relaxed or sleepy. They may feel more confident, take more risks, and increase the chances of experiences alcohol-related harm, such as drinking too much or being injured in a fight or accident. It is therefore recommended that the consumption of alcoholic energy drinks to be avoided. And well, guys, this was the Workplace Health and Safety Talk of the Week. I hope you have enjoyed the content. I know that many of us, we drink energy drinks. Uh, if you drink energy drinks, please drink responsibly. Uh, especially if you work in, let's say, uh, an engineering field. If you work in a construction site, if you work in a factory, uh, if you drink too much uh, caffeinated, caffeinated drinks, or especially energy drinks, uh, you may feel a little bit dehydrated. Uh, you may feel a little bit anxious. Your heart rate can uh, speed up. Uh, there are many, many cases in the industry where people abused, and when I say abused, they two, three, uh, 250 mil uh, cans of energy drinks. And because of the exertion, the efforts and the hard work, the labor work that they were doing, uh, they felt a little bit um, without balance. There's recorded of a lot of injuries and incidents, safety incidents, uh, with the underlying issues was sleep de deprivation and the consumption of energy drinks. So I hope you have enjoyed the content. Uh, if you are still not subscribed to my website, 
please subscribe now to get in your email inbox news and updates and videos about the engineering qualification validation process and other safety and en environmental updates. The link to my website, www.engineersinaustralia.com, is in the comments. And if you have any questions or if you have suggestions for uh, new videos or themes for live sessions, please send me an email, admin at engineersinaustralia.com. And if you haven't downloaded my free ebook, as I promised before, about the 10 challenges that most overseas engineers they face when they arrive in Australia, you can request your free, free PDF. Uh, I'm going to put the, the link now in the comments. Uh, the first link is the English version. So just bear with me a little bit. I'll put in the Facebook. Uh, I'll type in, in Instagram as well. So www.bit.ly at ebook 10 challenges. And also the Portuguese version, uh, www.bit.ly slash ebook 10 desafios so i'm just going to to paste in facebook uh, bit.ly slash ebook 10 desafios so to request your ebook uh, you need to fill the form, put your name, your telephone and address. And uh, if you have, if you're not subscribed to my website, if it is, is the first time that you accessing my website, you will get an email. So you need to confirm there's a button in the email to confirm your email address. In the past, I was sending a lot, a lot of uh, free ebooks and people were complaining that uh, they, they never got the ebook. In the end was the email that was not correct. So when you, when you fill the form, if you haven't subscribed to my website, you get a confirmation email that you've got to click the button. As soon as you confirm the email, you get a, another email uh, with a PDF link that you can download my free ebook. This ebook is a compilation of my 14 years uh, in Australia, the challenges of an overseas engineer. As you know, I'm a Brazilian engineer, and I faced a lot of challenges when I arrived here in Australia. So I compiled in an ebook with the 10 challenges. I talk about uh, the visa, I talk about the challenges of getting your uh, qualification recognized, uh, about the language, about the local culture, about the local knowledge of the standards and specifications. I talk about the recruitment process. Uh, I talk about homesickness. So please uh, have a read. Uh, if you have any comments, send me an email or leave in the in the comments, either in Facebook or Instagram. And if you have any question, please uh, uh, send me an email or in the comments. And I'm planning to do another live session, which I will be interacting with one of the participants. Uh, so I'll let you know in in my groups in my facebook page in my instagram profile and i'll send an email with news about this uh, live interaction with a participant thank you very much and i'll see you next tuesday at 7 p.m brisbane time thank you bye bye